Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review with me. And so today, today we're back looking at the Jujutsu Kaisen mod. Still on version 1.20.1 of Minecraft, but now we're on version 36 of the mod. With another fun little update. A different update from the last few though, I will say. Uh, the last few updates between them all, we've had like, what, another 20 characters added to the game? And a bunch of curse techniques, some of them having their curse techniques, some of them not. Some curse techniques have been lying around for a while that, you know, weren't finished, and uh, the character has the finished technique, and... Yes, it's been a bunch of really kill cool updates. This one's no different, this one has some awesome stuff in it as well. But, a slightly different, uh, take this time, because rather than adding a bunch of characters, instead we've got a bunch of new structures, there is a new curse technique, and one of the characters has been... basically finished. So, yeah, there's just some awesome little bits in here. But yeah, starting is off, starting gear, same as always, book, outfit, bug, eat bug, bum ba dum And then from there, so, character that got his curse in it, you could probably take a guess given title, outfit. Yeah, Miguel got stuff added in, but before we look at him, and the new stuff he can do, because it's some fun stuff, some structures, a whole bunch of them, that I've been throwing in some so if you go we float around, I had to slash locate most of them because they were very, very far away from each other. But then, in one case, I went to an area and there was like six different things in one location. Yeah, anyway, this thing's here. Don't really know what it is. There's a slash locate command that gives you an idea what some of the stuff could be. But yeah, I think the axe-wielding bad guy was in here. I think it's maybe one of his places. But yeah, you know where it's a place that's got some stuff in it. Cool, yes, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ah, okay, yeah, there is a box. Oh, there's two boxes. A uh, Master Simple Domain and Black Sword there. Yeah, so some of this stuff is obviously set. So, like, you know, you're going to see things. You're going to find anvils. Awesome. Love anvils. Uh, and then, yeah, you're going to find bones and stuff. But, yeah, there will be a couple of chests that apparently can have random objects in it. So, if you find this location, hey, check this crate out. You might find some cool stuff in it. Going from there over to the second location. There's a car park added in. <laughs> the Molly Story car park been thrown in. Uh... Okay, we will also be asking, why is that stuff lying there? Yeah, there were enemies in here before. Um, I'm not sure how much of this is destruction via enemies and how much of this is destruction via just it's meant to look like that. Because uh, unfortunately, yeah, I was in the area and I heard a loud explosion. <laughs> so, they might be serious for a bit. Uh, yeah, either way though, big old car park structure, knowing, kill. There might be some secret stuff in here somewhere. Like, I, mean, I don't know, maybe a chest or something somewhere hidden. I, literally right there. It's literally right there. Perfect. <laughs> so you can make two objects in that chest there. Awesome. But yeah, big old structure spawned into the world. Uh, I'm trying to remember when they fought in a car park, but I don't think that really matters. At the end of the day, this is going to be a cool structure to find. And I mean, it's going to be dark inside, so even during the day, you're going to find a whole bunch of enemies floating around this one. Over to the third location. This is probably one of the cooler ones. Uh, I mean, they're all pretty cool, but like, you know, this one's got the, the kill, the kill, this, 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 that, so, uh, yeah, and then this one's got a big windy path on the map, it looks really cool, too. Um, it seems to be a little temple place, uh, it's got that lying there, which was awesome, uh, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, I can never really tell what half these structures are, because I'm sure a lot of them are references to the show, but like, yeah, off the top of my head, I don't actually remember what they are, uh, but yeah, so, over here, there's probably stuff in amongst some of these areas, I'd imagine. I, I don't know. Most of the doctors tend to have at least one or two hidden chests with items in them. This big game is trying to find them. But, uh, yeah, another big old temple structure where on a timer, I assume enemies are meant to spawn. You can fight them and stuff. Oh, there's another. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I'm assuming this is meant to be like the jutsu headquarters thing from when they broke in, stole a bunch of stuff. I'm assuming it's maybe went after Mahito got the hold of the place or something. I, off the top of my head, that's the only place I can think of. It's got, you know, this kind of slaughter going on. But, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of chests in here and there's nothing in them. Where's the hidden stuff? I don't know. Anyway, cool visual bits for temple. Another big old temple thing. I think this one looks really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out where the hidden stuff is, but hey, it'll be in here somewhere. Maybe the comment section can help us out with that one, because... Like, we know, we know there's going to be, like, one hidden chest somewhere with something in it, right? Like, that, that's typically the, the kind of the rule of the structure. Like, there'll be something somewhere. It's just a game of weird. Aha! Here, the last place I checked. <laughs> Literally, the exact last place I checked. There's a thing! 
There's a thing. I don't know if it's always the same chest. I, I, I never know with this mod. Uh, maybe if it's the same chest, kill, cool, you'll, you'll always find something in that back room there. If not, and good luck. There's a lot of chests to look through. <laughs> I hope it's random. I hope it's a random chest within the structure. That'd be amazing, just having to look through them all. Oh, so, okay, yeah, so, into that area there. Dum -ba -dum. Yeah, okay, that was the big temple there. Yeah, it's a really cool structure. I like this one. Oh, so this is the area I teleported to, and found this structure, and I looked over, and I'm like, oh, hey, there's a graveyard there. Oh, hey, that's a mine shaft up here. What's that doing here? That's a bit weird. Then I floated around here. I'm like, oh, kills the temple thing. Oh, it's the carpet. Yeah, it's just all the structures spawning over here. Then also, yeah, there's that one there. That's one of the newer ones. It's going to get to a minute. There's a hospital there. Then there was, yeah, this here that I thought looked awesome. Because that's a reformatory with the, the dragon temple. <laughs> Digging into the front of it. Um... Yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is a fun, these are two structures that spawn together, and in, like, the best possible way. <laughs> I think this looks amazing. Uh, at least from the outside, it looks like it's a really cool-looking temple thing. I don't know if the stuff from the prison can still spawn or whether it's been destroyed. Because it may have been overlapped by, you know, the dragon one, but... Yeah, that was a cool, a cool little spot in. I, I love the thing. The, the, just the chaos of all the different structures trying to spawn in each other. You know, add a lot of cities in, you get some amazing spot ins. But yeah, here's another new structure. Uh, it's a house. I don't know whose house, but it's a house. Uh, it's got, you know, it should be front door. It's got its garage and stuff. Oh, look, it's got shoes to put in and stuff. I, I, I have no idea. I, I, I couldn't even begin to imagine whose house this is meant to be. I, Dory's friend from season one? I don't remember the name of, but this character guy did something recently. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I also am not sure what the spawn location for this is actually called. Because like, if you do the slash locate command, you just slash locate structures. You type in Jajutsu, and it'll come up a bunch of stuff. Like apartment building, broken house, eating house. That's cursed almost. There's the gate. Then there's, yeah, graveyard one, two, and three. And then there's hospital. House strange. House zenin. There's that one, Ultia, which... Uh, that is one of your structures. There's parking, it's almost the parking lot. There's formatory, there's school one. Uh, in fact, it's school one. Is it there? May, maybe there might be another school in the future. I like that they've kept that there just, just in case there is another one. There's a shopping street, we know what that one is. There's Temple Tower, that's the one with the cool spinny tower bits. Temple Vein, we haven't went there yet. And then there's a truck, which I assume is the old uh, the, 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 the truck. Uh, I'll get tipped over. That's a wooden temple. But, uh,. Yeah, this is one of the house ones. Maybe the weird house. I don't know. But, uh. I don't know, because I hear, I see strange apartment stuff, and I do think it could be the, uh, you know the one, the, the weird apartment complex. This is, this is, I, I don't know, it's, it's one of those spawns anyway, I just happened to locate this one without having to do the slash locate command. But, um, yeah, it's a weird house, it's got some stuff in it. Uh-oh, I, I just want it. Never mind then. I was like, where's the chest? There's, there's a secret chest in here, we could loot in it somewhere, well. Potentially good looting it. Where is it? Okay, I don't know where the loot might be, but you know, we're assuming it's somewhere. But anyway, another really cool structure, cool little house and bits. Making use of different blocks to make it look like certain things. Awesome. Yeah, we've also got a go in the back door, got a wee garage we can go into. Yeah, here we go. Got a car and everything. <laughs> I love the creativity of the structures in this mod. There's so many cool ones. What the heck? Oh, it's a secret. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Minecraft. Okay, there is an actual door. It's a secret one up to the, up to that bedroom. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Cool. Anyway, off to the next place. Ah, here we are, the Vine Temple. Uh, yeah, it looks like a old temple with lots of vines on it. Cause you know, no one's been maintaining or taking care of it for ages. Ah, there we go. A blade straight away. See, that one's nice and simple. There might be another hidden chest in here somewhere. But this isn't a very big structure, so I don't know. Oh. That's the side door. That's the side That leads outside. Actually, there's a... Chains and go. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, another cool little fun structure. I also, yeah, I assume a bunch of these are also meant to spawn mobs in them. So that may give you a hint to, you know, where they're meant to be and stuff. Because obviously I'm just taking guesses because the mobs aren't spawning because I'm in create mode. But, and I don't want to sit there for several minutes while they respawn. But, uh, yeah, I'll be something to discover when we people, people play, I suppose. Yeah, I thought it served me. I teleported to the wooden temple. It took me to the dragon place. 
Yep, kill us, whatever I expected. Yeah, I believe that's all the structures then. Uh, so that'd be five from my count. Uh, there might be other ones and I've just missed them. But yeah, I mean, there are, let me know in the comments because there's a bunch of new stuff out of this one. That said, though, what I'm noticing is I'm finding a lot of kill structures. Obviously, I'm doing this last look at you, to find them. Uh, the Zenin household, though, since that got added in, I have not once found that in a survival world. <laughs> some structures are not treated equally. Some structures are far more common than others by the looks of it, which I guess maybe that goes by the cool stuff you could find in or just how big the structure is. I don't know. Right, no matter. Anyway, that was some cool stuff. New structures, whole bunch of them. Uh, filling out the world some more in a different way. But now, moving over to here. So, a couple of new things here. So, one, Miguel. Miguel got added in last time. He did not have his technique, and it was just Miguel. But I think, the thing what Miguel was, he was pretty strong already. Uh, yeah, 400 HP, get the black rope, all that jazz. Yeah, there's now a new Miguel, a.k.a. the Shinjuku Showdown Miguel, a.k.a., you know, the, the, the latest one. Um... This one's got a bit more stuff going on. So the first one, I mean, the first one was prepped for fighting Gojo. And, you know, we had the black rope. What, what good is this technique when fighting Gojo? He needs to use the whip and all that jazz. Yeah, the other one's not held by such restrictions. He's going in with this technique. What is his technique? Well, they was reading the manga recently. Well, no, Miguel got a bit of a showing. Uh, like, okay, yeah, with the battle, the way the battle's going, we probably won't see him for very long. But at least he showed up and did some cool stuff in the time he was here. But yeah, if we were to grab, sure, we'll say Dagon for this. Why not? There's, yeah, 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 grab that Dagon. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Dagon, have a go. Yeah, so they start fighting. Yeah, so Miguel's technique is essentially breakdancing. <laughs> he can essentially breakdance to strengthen himself and weaken his opponents. And yeah, the animation stuff is put in so that they you now breakdance while they're fighting things. It's kind of awesome. It seems to have an increased dodge chance. So that's the thing. Also, I think... Yeah, okay, that's that's the breakdance one. There are two different versions here. I was curious if the... The Black Whip one did any cool stuff too. But I think it just, yeah, uses the Black Whip weapon. The other one obviously does the actual dancing. And... I mean, it's hard to say who's really doing better at this point. But I imagine the one with the breakdancing technique is probably going to do better. Since it's getting a booster stuff. It doesn't have the item, but... It does have, like, increased dodge stuff. Actually, yeah, you can see from the health pool. It's not a big difference, but the... <laughs> the Zero one has taken more damage and more hits. Compared to the break damage one. So... <laughs> I love this. This is amazing. He's gonna be such a fun opponent to fight. Yeah, so this guy took, what, 3%? This guy took 18%. Okay, yeah, it's not exactly a perfectly fair comparison to Tony against Dragon, but, you know... It just a general two of them laying into the guy. One took way more damage. This one seems to dodge a lot more in things using the technique. It it looks awesome. It's good. It's just some good animation here. It yeah, in <laughs> this technique. Again, we're not going to see him for very long in the manga. Let's enjoy. Well, like I, I assume, like the way, nature of the battle he's currently in, most characters don't show up for very long. And then yeah, he's went from zero to the Shinjuku showdown because they literally pulled him at the back of the cupboards to throw because they're just throwing everything. It's uh, you know. Uh, at this point in the fight. Like, they're just they're throwing everything now. <laughs> and they dragged this guy out of nowhere. Which was... I'm so glad they did. Because we got to see this. This is amazing. And the fact they got put into this mod. I'm absolutely loving. But the fun doesn't end there. Because not only has Miguel got his technique. And thus can now break dance. Uh, we can pick Miguel's technique. And now also do a similar thing. So um, Prayer Song. That's his actual name of his technique. If we were to activate that. Yeah, now we, uh, <laughs> we also throw some moves while we, uh, do some stuff. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. Uh, a lot of it does seem to be, yeah, when you hold, when you press shift, it does, uh, essentially just guard. You do a dance move. So there's that. Uh, or when you, uh, like, dodge backwards. So you do the dodge technique and stuff. It basically, you, you break dance around it. Uh, but yeah, so the prayer song will last, I think it's like three minutes, by the looks of it. We seem to have the zone active while we're doing that, so that's kind of cool. Uh, by the looks of it, we don't get a domain expansion, but it's fine. I should... <laughs> we get this, and the fact that because of the shift to 1.20, other players can see this now, <laughs> which is just amazing. So, <laughs> I love this technique, it's so... 
it, it's just a bunch of animations, but it's, it's yeah, like your breakdance, your breakdance against your opponent. I, what more could you want, really? I don't know. There's also a possibility that another character has been added in at this point, and I have no idea because there's enough characters in here now that if uh, Modmaker wanted to like just throw a character in there that was a work in progress and not announce it, you may get away with it at this point because I, I genuinely may not notice it because. <laughs> Yeah, there's just so many different characters. There's a whole bunch of names I just don't recognize. So I, I there's a bunch of characters in here that I'm like, were they in before? Probably. I, I'm partially basing what I do, like l looking for people now, off of the color of the eggs and the name sounding partially familiar. <laughs> that I just look for new clothes. Sometimes new clothes gives a hit away. But uh, yeah, I think I think there will be character added in. I like again, I might have missed someone, but you know, it'd be what it'd be. Anyway, who's a who'd be a fun opponent to throw against? Yeah, Hanami. Hanami's a good opponent. I mainly say that because Hanami doesn't throw a whole, like, Dagon's killer now, but he throws a lot of sharks in the way. And unfortunately, that's not what we want right now. What we want is to, uh, fight someone that we can actually see the, the stuff against them and stuff. So I'm just gonna, you know, okay, I'm, I'm not doing a very good, I'm not very, doing a very good job of, uh, dodging and stuff. Yeah, you need to fight basically F3 mode now. <laughs> you basically need to fight like this now so you can actually see the techniques and stuff. But, um... And yeah, we are actually dodging some of the techniques of this. <laughs> there is a, there's a kill down bit. Are oh, you doing the uh, the dodging and stuff? Like, getting ammunition. Actually, no, sorry. Prayer songs just ended. Dodge again. There we go. Uh, yeah, there was a ball. I don't know if it's just because, like, so when mobs do their attacks and stuff, they seem to, like, they try and track you, basically, and try to. I got domain application. Awesome. Uh, they seem to try and, like, track, you know, where you're going to go and stuff so they can hit you. Prayer songs used to do a really good job at just getting out of the way of people. <laughs> Obviously, it's partially down to your own timing too, but yeah, I just danced over the top of Nami's technique there. I... <laughs> Even if you don't beat your opponent, they might feel defeated by the end of it. Like, there's obviously just the fact you can just attack it like normal anyway. Uh, that's obviously a thing for you too. Um. I, that that's not the main thing I love about this 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 though I I it it's it's the dancing part I <laughs> oh I love this update it's amazing I I so badly need to get some of my friends on again just so like because they like some of them haven't really like really read the manga stuff or they're behind so they don't know about this It'd be so amazing just to start doing this on them. Right, anyway though, I do think that does is for this little mod review. So yeah, it's not an enormous mod uh, update in terms of just the sheer uh, quality of stuff. Uh, or quality of stuff, the quantity of stuff, sorry. The quality is top notch, as always. Um, <laughs> it's just one of my favourite updates. Uh, but yeah, so we got a bunch of new structures. They're always nice. It's always nice having the world fill out with uh, some more random bits. Plus, you know, structures have got quite a distance between each thing. So it can be cool seeing, you know, a bunch of different things in the local area. And then, yeah, Miguel getting more stuff. We now have two Miguels to fight. One for, uh, with the, the whip, which can break through if you have infinity and stuff. And then, yeah, one literally does break the engine, which... Yeah. <laughs> what more could you want in an opponent, really? Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for this little mod review, though. So, we be interested to see what mod maker decides to do next. Uh, obviously, we've got a whole bunch of characters in now that don't fully have their techniques, so there's a whole bunch of potential stuff there. I'm glad they did Miguel, like, I, I don't know what everyone might have been expecting from, like, Miguel when his technique got released and, you know, what Modmaker might do with it. I think we all were hoping, though, weren't we? We're all hoping it'd be something like this. We're all hoping you could just break dance. We're all hoping the dance around, weren't we? <laughs> like, I know I was, anyway. I, I was hoping for an update like this, and I am so happy with it. But yeah, anyway, links down below if you want to check the mod out. Again, it's 1.241 Minecraft version 36 of the mod. I am i can't wait to see what other stuff gets added in the future. But yeah, this is, this is a fantastic update. Like, not in, ter in terms of uh, quantity, not, not as big as some of the other updates. In terms of quality, though, top notch. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not going to get bored of this anytime soon. But yeah, anyway, though, uh, that does this for today. So thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the show. And I'll see you all next time for whenever we do another Minecraft mod review. Go buy it from Buddy.
Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of our channel members for the extra support and a special thank you and shout out to our elite members, the Johnny members, Sebastian Ramsey and Aiden is gone, and our Anbu member, Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Badu, badu, badu.